We need to say something before you can perform this operation. Do you remember the appearance, language, culture, and technology of people? Every planet we colonize makes progress. They faced it. As a hive thought, our species is almost meaningless in writing or in other ways, but since we communicate with our minds, unless we have enough, we can maintain a good attitude toward memory. Could we remember? The first contact with our appearance millennia ago was much different than that. You are now looking at our home API 3, which is so close to one of the gas giants found in our system. It was thrown off course and threatened to become a nomadic world. At that point in our history, we were still in the hunter-gatherer stage, so we had no way to save ourselves. Vegetation dies and even dies out. We were destined to be extinguished like a small fire in a blizzard, but here comes our savior. The hive remembers. Humanity saw that the planet, despite going rogue, was a perfect planet to colonize if they could just solve the problem of it free-floating into the void, so that's what they did. We remember the structures, the size of cities, that pushed the planet back into orbit around our star. We stayed underground, cleaning. What remained from our world, trying to survive as their therapy efforts went further. It is inspiring to see how quickly the frozen wasteland transforms into a meadow of flowers from their homeland. We had never seen them up close until desperation forced us to try and steal their food. It was our first encounter with a man in a settlement called Mel Farms to see that people have brought DNA about every domesticated flora and FAA species to clone and modify them to live on our planet. One such species was an insect about 15 millimeters long, yellow with black stripes, and had a symbiotic relationship, helping plants to reproduce in exchange for their food production. People keep them outside in big boxes and let them breed and overproduce so people can harvest that food. We found out and tried to steal the food. After we learned the mechanism of defense of this insect, our first meeting with people was really good. Honeycomb remembers. Security measures around the area resembled a man's man on behalf of Charles. We remember the white clothes he wore to protect him from insects as well as the air. We remember the weapon he used to calm the creatures, the smoke release tool. We reminisce about the kindness he showed us when we were left with seven members of our species. You have to take into account that we were weakened by the recent climate catastrophe. So at that moment, we accepted our fate, but fate had other ideas at hand. They fed us, protected us, educated us, healed us, and, most importantly, saved us. We learned to communicate non-verbally with the help of their machines. They showed us many other species of insects, they brought worms that produce silk and transform into small insects. They farmed and built buildings, spiders flew on small balloons, and we admired the little creatures they showed us. Despite our small stature, we do everything we can to repay people and their kindness, even if it's just to help them build, produce, and farm. They were worried about the relationship. Charles says it's because humans have historically allowed groups with advanced technology to take advantage of various advances, but we're still out of phase, and as our numbers grow, so does our respect for them. When Charles died, they quickly taught us to think for ourselves and think critically about solving our own problems. We honor man by asking him to genetically modify us to look like his pets. Our coup's armor is now covered with larger eyes in yellow and black, small antennae, small transparent wings added to our bodies, and the ability to produce materials such as wax, honey, and silk. We call ourselves guardians, although that's cute by their standards. We are useful to them. Although it is only a way to communicate between systems, Hive remembers that when the global PL, humanity, tortured the reptilian Alendron, the living beings that came into contact with humans changed themselves. It is quite common to treat your friends with respect. Add the old heroes to the temple. When they revealed respect for the gods and demons, they thought they could be embraced now. All dog dragons have bright colors, feathers, wings, and serpentine bodies, while the males have large hides, wings, and pointed tails and produce flammable gases in their mouths that they will ignite and eject when humans detect Gaia. Dangerous attacks. It is simply a living being capable of transforming inorganic materials. Just as heavy metals turn into biomass, 
It starves the entire planet into biomass, and its last resort is self-destruction, so that its spores can discover the new planets humans have given Earth. The genetic information of all known Earth species enters Gaia and transforms the all-consuming planet, allowing a biosphere of new invisible creatures and photosynthetic plants to flourish. Maybe it will have its own civilization. This gave it human-like sentience, pointed ears, a telepathic connection to Earth, and marked dimorphism, with fewer herbivorous female mates. These solitary predator males have now been carried to the stars and brought Gaia's spores to the terraformed New World. We could continue to practice all species changing in honor of humans, and after humans escaped the dryness of their jungle world, the Vanera changed its appearance to become more ape-like. The Rostomy robots make their mechanical bodies more humane, facilitating relationships and distancing themselves from the creators they overthrew. After initial contact, the polyphilic limos now forms its gelatinous body into a more human form, even placing a control core in a chest that resembles a human heart. Humans have left their mark on hundreds of intelligent life forms across the galaxy, and despite our different customs and biological traits, we all work together for the good of humans, and then you killed them. You came to our galaxy, killed trillions of them, and drove to extinction the species that had done so much to make up for their dark history. Your entire empire is built on the bones of a once prosperous species. Do you remember how they found you dormant on your own orphan planet when they brought you to one of their own systems when you conquered their worlds and butchered them for meat? Have you forgotten the bravery that human soldiers fought when they defended their homes in vain? Do you even remember their screams? We are the custodians of their legacy. It has taken us generations, but we are ready to avenge our fallen saviors. We've amassed such a massive herd that your computers won't be able to comprehend the power of our numbers, and we're not alone. Every sentient uplift lifted by humanity is on a warpath to eradicate you. The combined fleets of our crusade will block the light of the stars from hitting the surface of your stolen worlds. We're going to lose a lot of people but we guarantee you'll wish you'd been frozen on this rogue planet centuries ago instead of collapsing under the weight of sin. We hope your gods will forgive you, as each of you will be introduced to them and you will die, not even a hive. I remember you.